Hey guys, this is Albino Kidna. Oh, you hit me. Oh, anyways, look, welcome back to Let's Play. I was about to say Pokemon Sapphire. Right. Anyways, let's play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. This is level 2 or world 2. I'll probably call it world 2. Um, this is kind of a beach level, I guess. Anyways, I want that. It's the only time I want the parasol. We'll get it. Alright, because the parasol is. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. It wasn't that necessary, but I would have liked it. Okay, sword. I'm making quick work of everybody. Oh. Whatever. I want to crash anyways. Okay. That is Tornado. I love Tornado. It is one of my favorite moves or power-ups, abilities in this game. So I'm going to grab it. <clears throat> and almost make it. Have I made one yet during this Let's Play? Probably not since I only have two lives. Which... I, oh yeah. One thing that happens is that your lives kind of reset. Uh, your lives reset every time you start the game, so... Even if I do, like, amass a ton of lives, they will be reset every time I start the game up again. Just because the game is like that, I guess. So... If somehow I happen to collect like 10 lives, which I know will never happen, not in this let's play anyways, but if I still happen to collect like 10 lives, they probably will be all gone the next video. Mostly because, well hopefully not because of anything stupid, <clears throat> but because... Um, train of thought lost. Oh, they'll be gone because I started the game over. <clears throat> and it does that sometimes. Okay, still have not made one. Whatever. Okay. See, there's too many games in this world so far, so I'll probably show those off at the end, I guess. There we go. The parasol. One of the most not fun. Dumb. I don't know. Parasol is useful for like on the rare occasion. So oh, UFO. UFO is probably one of the best power ups in the game. Or not best, but rarest, which I guess some people wouldn't. A claim that would be the best because of that. But I already lost it, so. Never mind, can't show it off. However, I will keep talking about it. The UFO has three attacks. Un unlike um, the other ones of this game. Or not other. All the other abilities of this game only have. Dang it, and that's what I needed it for. Anyways. The other abilities of this game only have one power up each. Unlike in other Kirby games, especially Squeak Squad. Squeak Squad has like multiple things you can do with like one ability each, which is really fun. Which is why I play that one more often than I do this one. Which I'm not sure if I said it in the last video because like you guys may or may not know. I had to record that one multiple times. Oh, and last one. Nope, this is the last one. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm not aware, because I had to record it twice, I'm not sure what I said in the first recording that was lost. 
versus what I was what I said in the second recording that you guys hear. So you might have to bear with me on what I've actually said so far. Oh, and my first one up game that way of the game. Alright. And another one up. Which they are kind of like liberal with the one ups in this game. Or pretty much in all Kirby games. So it's not like you have a big of a deal getting through the game. I'm gonna collect stone, mostly because it won't be that useful. Mike is another cool power too. It works kind of like Crash, only you get three hits, and I'm sure they probably make up for it some way by it being weaker or something. But yeah, you can use Mike three times before it disappears. Unlike Crash, where you can only use it once. For example. One, two, and then the third one is Rock and Roll Kirby, which I destroyed the laser beam. There's another one though, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and the laser beam can bounce off of like hills, I guess, angled hills, so that's its use. However, it's not a fun ability, not in my opinion. It's just kind of there to be useful, kind of like Parasol. But then you have the ones that, are, the abilities to me, in my opinion, that are really fun, but are pretty much useless. Well, useless to get in special areas. And I'll talk more about those when I actually come to them. Because I probably will attempt to use them a lot. Ah, I missed it again. Alright, first, I'm gonna see what's in this museum. It is laser and fire. Okay. I think I'll take laser because I'm gonna show off another aspect in each level. That is like the mini boss battle, the arena, I guess it's called, where you can fight. A mini boss for his ability and a maximum heart, or maximum tomato, I mean. So, that's pretty useful. This is world, oh, level 5 of world 2, which I've been hit twice now. Three times now. Being so stupid. <clears throat> and pretty much like every. Well, not every. Because I haven't played every Nintendo game. Well, every Nintendo platforming game. But a lot of games have secrets where if you just keep going to like a different area, you can find a. Find something special. Like this one. It's not really that secret, but you can get through. Or you need this like wheel. You don't really need wheel, but you get to it faster with wheel. So this one has another areas. You can find one ups, and there's another one up over there, but I'm not sure I can get to it with wheel. So I'm just gonna leave it be. Yep. Seeing how I lost wheel anyways. Oh, got it back. And there we go. And this is super jump. Or high jump. I keep saying the wrong thing. And that's pretty much what it does. Press B and do a super jump. Or a high jump. And if you see a, um one of these guys on a tomato, 
the only way you can get that tomato is to actually inhale him off first and then eat the tomato. If you try to hit him any other way, excuse me. If you try to hit him any other way, you really won't. You will hit tomato first. So be sure to do that. Alright, now I'm going to show off the mini games. This is the first one. It is Kirby's Air Grind. And you hold A when you're on a colored part, and then when you see a black part, you lift up on A. Oop, messed up. And the closer you are, without going over, the faster you get. You get kind of a boost. You can see right there. Press A really quickly over it and keep messing up. And I am not going to come in first unless. Never mind, I did come in first. And so, like I said before in another video, because I beat three people, I'm ahead of three people, I get three lives. Oh, so I did get ten lives in this game. Okay. And you guys have already seen Bomb Rally, so I'm not going to show that one off. And here's the boss of level two. Which I probably should have grabbed something. So I don't have to wait for his for him to draw stuff. And I know this guy has a name, because pretty much all the bosses have names, right? But I have no clue what his name is. He kinda reminds me of the um Dang it. There's a fight in, I think, Kirby 64, where Amelia, whatever her name is, she draws stuff too that comes to life. So, it just kind of reminds me of that fight. So maybe his this guy's name is something close. Um, he just drew a cloud right there, so sometimes he'll draw things that you can get his ability from, get a new ability from. Like that one right there is Parasol. So, ah, excuse me, tongue is itching, weird, Kirby Dance, alright, that is level 2, and on to level 3, see this is going by really quickly, so, shouldn't take too long, probably like, maybe under 10 videos, but, anyways, thanks for watching you guys.